Hello, I'm Sokat and welcome back to my second channel geography video. This is Evan Sarah series where I talk about geography and the world and stuff. And today I want to do a quick little video just to update you on a long ongoing issue. You should know most of the details, but there's a big, big update to this country right here. So basically, uh, for any of you who aren't familiar, this country right here, as long as it has existed, has caused issues uh, with uh, to do with Greece because of its name. The reason that it has two names on Google Maps is because its official name is usually the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. However, most people colloquially call it Macedonia. Macedonia, and that is something that hugely upsets Greece. So yeah, there's two separate names depending on what usage. They call themselves Macedonia. A lot of uh, big international organizations call them the FYROM, former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. And basically for the longest time, Greece has been in a big deadlock with them and not for invalid reasons either, because Greece has its own province called Macedonia. And a lot of uh, you know Greece, uh, Greeks were scared that they were kind of stealing the heritage and that they one day had territorial claims to Macedonia. And for those, right, you know, to the Greek Macedonia, I should say, uh, which which many Greeks believe to be the real Macedonia. So with that uh, said and out of the way, that is why uh, Greeks for the longest time have been hugely staunchly against Macedonia, calling itself that, and Macedonians have be have their whole national identity tied up in their name, and they're like, we're not going to change the name just because you feel like you know it doesn't fit your whole thing. It's been a big international dispute between the two countries for quite some time now. However, it finally got roughly agreed last year, and then it went through a whole uh, kind of set of setbacks. But finally, we have the news that it's probably gone through, because two weeks ago, Macedonia's parliament agrees to change the country's name. It was a hugely controversial vote where a lot of people are like, no, we must stick with Macedonia. And then literally just today, we have the news that Greek's parliament has also approved Macedonia's new name. Amid deep divisions, Greek parliament approves Macedonia name change deal to end neighbors protracted dispute. Uh, particularly when it comes to the north of Greece, they really do not agree with this. They really are not fans of the new name. Uh, but it is the easiest compromise for both sides because while uh, you know Macedonia remains in this limbo, it means they effectively can't join a lot of international organizations and it's holding them back as a country. So if you're curious as to how it all happens, they've only been a country since 1991, but going forward, uh, as soon as they submit the name change to the UN and other international bodies, they will be known as Northern Macedonia. This country right here, the uh, you know uh, Macedonia or the FYROM, will soon be known as the former former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia, and uh, also just known as Northern Macedonia. And instead of having two names on a map, which only a few places have, again, there's this, uh, there's Burma slash Myanmar, and there's uh, also obviously the, the town. But like, there are very few places which are so controversial, even the name becomes an issue. And soon, this one will be wiped off the map. And one of the reasons that's positive or negative, if you're Macedonian and against these things, or just against these things in general, is because now the big one that they wanted to join was NATO. Uh, obviously, the Balkans are one of the biggest expansion parts of uh, Europe when it comes to NATO. So, uh, you know, Macedonia could not join, uh, you know, NATO, even though Montenegro, for instance, can uh, because of their whole name dispute with a key NATO member. And also Macedonia cannot join uh, the, uh, the Europe, I should say, uh, the, the EU, the Eurozone, all those various different bodies. It cannot join them because of their same dispute with Greece. Greece is obviously in the EU and says, nah, can't join with that name, which is why it's been such a huge thing. They've gone back and forth. There's been protests, this, that, and that. And uh, yeah, I just I just wanted to kind of um a bit, make a point in this video that uh, I actually have recently spoken to, uh, so I, I spoke to a few Macedonians about this a while ago, like, oh yeah, we believe this is awful. And I actually spoke to a Greek guy just while I was in Uber, while I was in America uh, a week ago, as you might know about. And uh, he had a uh, very strong opinions that like Macedonia, which is how he said it. And I'm going to take that pronunciation from now on. Uh, but Macedonia is like, oh, they came up with the name and he's like very angry about it. He doesn't live anywhere near the area, but he was vehemently opposed to the deal. And that seems to be the general consensus of like, man, what are we doing here? But the simple answer is like, you know, even though it's not perfect for either side, both sides hate it again. Like, <laughs> here's some protests in Macedonia. Here's some protests in Greece. They're for both. Oh, sorry. Here's some protests for Greece. Um, but the truth is, uh, the, the beautiful way uh, to me to describe this is that Macedonia and Greece are winning and losing something, but finally is for the good of both sides. Uh, is that correct? Finally, is for oh, I thought it was like it's incorrectly past English, but yeah, yeah, you go. Macedonia and Greek are winning and losing something, but finally, is for the good of both sides, and that's from a senior lecturer of European law at East. Uh, anyway, whatever. That said, I just wanted to kind of uh, bring this story up because it is a key and vital issue. There is a name change, which is actually going to be internationally accepted. Because a fun fact is the most recent country to change its name, otherwise, was actually Swaziland, which changed its name to Eswatini. It's known as Eswatini with a bunch of different organizations, but Google Maps is 
yet to change the name. So now we have to wonder, you know, because this channel mostly revolves around Google Maps. I don't know if you've spotted that yet. Um, but now we have to wonder, like, how long until Macedonia does the same? Uh, or will Macedonia ever do the same? Because if we go to OpenStreetMap, which is kind of like the more community source version, you can see how, like, oh yeah, this is East Spartini there. If you check most other international places, you'll see the same thing. Um, whereas Macedonia is literally, it's not even the two name thing. It's just Macedonia, but in Macedonian and then Macedonia and then Latinized underneath it. So yeah, the question is, uh, how long will it take organizations to update? How long will it take Macedonia themselves to do it? Theoretically, even though they've got approval, they could say, actually, you know, we went through all this effort, but it was just a bluff. We're keeping the Macedonian name, you know, Macedonian name, if you will, uh, you know, do what you would like about it. But right now, uh, things are looking good for this one, uh, South, U former Yugoslav, former, former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, something interesting that maybe you didn't know about. So thank you very much for watching, as always, but this was just a quick one. I'm about to go out, that's why I'm wearing this terrible t-shirt. I have a new microphone, this is my first mic test, so if this sounded awful, then, uh, let me know. Hey, look, it's black instead of white, because it uses XLR cables, which is actually a nightmare. If I'm only in one of your ears, or I'm, like, peeking a whole bunch, I need to tweak the settings, so sorry for using you as a guinea pig, but that's what you are to me. You're just a guinea pig, because second channel, don't care. Goodbye.